Hi everybody, it's Chris here, and yes, we are back right here on YouTube with another 30 for 30 XL VBA for beginners live series. More about that in just a second. But firstly, how are you? How are you doing here in the UK? It's still a bit of a strange time. I can see it's still raining outside as usual, but basically we're still on lockdown here in the UK. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing okay, taking care of yourself and the people around you. So the next 30 for 30 live series is gonna be called XL VBA for Beginners, 30 Problems and Solutions. Yes, the purpose of this series is to take your XL VBA skills forward from the first 30 for 30 series, which was aimed at absolute beginners. So hopefully that's built a foundation and you're now appreciating the possibilities. You're thinking, well, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could do that. So you're ready to look at more practical examples of applications of Excel VBA at beginner level. Now, what I find in my work is the same situations seem to come up again and again, the same patterns repeat, the same coding structures repeat, the same techniques in Excel VBA I'm using a lot. So what I've tried to do is to go through my work and pick out a good number of examples that I think are illustrative and useful for lots of people out there. So if you learn these examples, you're gonna be able to use them lots of times in your work. You're gonna see them coming up again and again. It's really gonna push your Excel VBA forward in a practical sense, but I need your help here. I've been going through my client files today, picking out some of these examples that seem to repeat, but what about you? What are some of the things that you're often trying to get done in Excel and you're thinking, there must be a better way to do this. Maybe I could do this with Excel VBA. What would really help you to understand, to be able to do using Excel VBA, something that you could use regularly to really save time and push forward your data analysis, whatever you might be doing. So now stop the video, let me know in the comments. But if you're still thinking, here's some examples. So one video is definitely going to be about dynamic drop-down menu. So if we have a drop-down menu, you want to add some more entries at the bottom of the drop-down menu. So many people are trying to do that. I do that in my work probably every week. I create that mechanism. So that's one example. If you know how to do that, that's gonna create lots of value for you in your work. Another example is often when I get a client file, I want to unhide all the sheets in the file. So I have a VBA routine to do that. I use it all the time. I have another routine to list all of the names of the sheets in the file. Super useful stuff that I use all the time. So there's three examples that are definitely going to be in our 30 for 30 XL VBA for beginners, 30 problems and solutions series. But as always, you are the heroes of this channel. You're gonna be the heroes of this series too. Yes, I'm sure it's gonna get emotional at some point like it did last time. So let's start right now. Leave me a comment and just put down just one idea for something that you do a lot, a real problem that you would like to know the solution to. It might be using VBA. We might not have to use VBA. As always on the channel, we have a practical focus to help us get things done in the real world. That's my mission really. That's all I'm interested in doing is helping you use Excel VBA to save time, build confidence, to get more and more things done in the real world, whatever you're doing. So that's the idea. Leave me a comment below. We're gonna get started with this series today. Well, kind of not today, but we're gonna get started with the preparation. When are the live broadcasts gonna start? Well, I'm looking at Monday, June the 22nd. So that's two weeks tomorrow. I'm filming this on a Sunday. We're gonna get started with this series and we're gonna follow the same format. So 30 minutes a day, uh, 30, additions for 30 days. I don't know if we're gonna go consecutively, maybe we'll be able to push through consecutively, but I would love for you to get involved, to join our community, but most importantly, to really start getting value out of those Excel VBA skills. And one thing I would say about this series, the previous series, 30 for 30 Excel VBA for absolute beginners, one video led to the next video, led to the next video. So I know we lost some viewers because they just kind of lost their way and they felt that they fell behind. But this series is different. You're gonna be able to jump in halfway through, three quarters of the way through, or you can just follow on 
from the start, you can jump into the series because this, the videos are not sequential. You don't have to watch the previous video to understand the current video. We're gonna have 30 different problems, 30 different solutions, Excel VBA for beginners. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to the channel or uh, Twitter, whatever it might be. I'll be putting more announcements up about this series, but I'm looking at Monday, June the 22nd, 4 p.m. UK time as a start date and a start time. Thanks guys, I'll see you very soon.